Hello trainers, it's your favorite content creator Ganetto and today we're diving into Fossil Cup. Fossil Cup is gonna be played on 1500 CP mark while having access only to Water Pokemon, Rock Pokemon and Steel types. Uh, we're gonna have a Polyrath team as our first showcase and you're gonna see pretty fast on the meta that Polyrath really covers uh, almost the entire of the meta so you're gonna have a pretty strong lead with access to Dynamic Punch to nook down pretty much everything, Skull to debuff the opponent and Ice Punch for the Flyers. I do not like Ice Punch at all uh, so I would go if I were you for Dynamic Punch and Skull. I don't know here why I'm not running Dynamic Punch at all but it is definitely a mistake, so just keep in mind that you're gonna need most of the types Dynamic Punch and Scald. The closer is gonna be Ferrothorn because it covers pretty much the entire meta and uh, with... Um the synergy from uh, Polyrath and Whiskas, you can effectively beat down uh, Registeel, which is gonna be the god uh, Pokemon for this uh, cup. And of course, uh, Ferrothorn against anything else is just gonna go to town, especially against those water types. Uh, the safe suit is gonna be Whiskas because uh, this Pokemon pretty much uh, can spam the Mud Bombs, go can go for the Blizzard, for the Grass types, or for that uh, Nook against any flyer out there. And of course, uh, the Mud Bomb. Yeah, I can help you a lot against uh, Registeels, against uh, whatever your opponent might have, and especially against Lucario. Uh, the core breaker for the team is gonna be an anti-meta option like Araquanid. We're gonna see this Pokemon in a while as well, but Araquanid uh, in total in uh, PvP, it is uh, most probably the most anti-meta option, especially against Wolverine, because it resists pretty much everything. Uh, with that in mind, we're looking at a very solid uh, line of three. I really recommend this team to use uh, since it can cover pretty much the meta and absolutely go crazy on the defensive part as well. And right now, I know what you're all thinking. Where is Registeel? Well, here it is. We're having a Registeel team which is gonna be up on the lead since it covers pretty much the entire meta, making uh, the Registeel a pretty safe option to use in total. The closer of the team is gonna be Swambert because Swambert can uh, pretty much spam the Hydro Cannon uh, a lot of the times that you're gonna use it. Uh, you're having access to Earthquake which can destroy down any Steel type. And of course, you have Sludge Wave for those uh, Water Flyers that might exist like Gerados and Pelipper. Uh, speaking of Pelipper, we have a Pelipper on our team as well because it's gonna be a safe option overall and I really like it as a safe switch. So here it is, I really recommend using this Pokemon on any team to be honest uh, since not only you are gonna spam your Weather Ball but also Hurricane is just gonna uh, ruin your opponent if they do not shield at all. The core breaker of the team is gonna be kinda is gonna be uh, Wall Ryan because uh, it uh, can simply uh, wall down the backline and has access to Earthquake for Registeel. However, it is not gonna be that much of a core breaker in total I did not fight the hard counter for this line of three, so I would not be uh, that concerned about wall Ryan. Uh, having uh, Red Steel up on the lead, as we said, it is a pretty safe option. This team can work around the Red Steel a lot, and uh, by using your Pelipper as a safe switch, you can also grab something weird at the back. Uh, having access to uh, Swambert as a closer will mean that whatever remains is absolutely gonna go uh, to town, since uh, Swambert, especially on its own, the form will most probably uh, nook down anything. Uh, with that in mind, I think you are gonna be just uh, on the right uh, way to finish off your opponent and now let's move forward into the next one. At this point, trainers, as the battle for the third one has already started, before we commentary the battle and what you should be afraid of and note of of the team, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't because it really really helps a lot and with your assistance I'm pretty sure that this channel can succeed even more. Uh, right now I'm just gonna talk about this team. Uh, we're having an Araquanid up in the lead which is pretty amazing, I really recommend this Pokemon as an meta option and I, I'm not, uh, I don't think that you are gonna regret it. Pokemon like Wallrine are gonna be uh, nuked down and walled down by this Araquanid and you are still gonna have a lot of energy to spend on the next one and it is most probably like a debuffer because Bugbuzz has a chance to debuff the defense of the enemy and of course Bubble Beam the attack of the enemy so you're gonna be in a very good option even if you lose the lead sometimes because your backline can come in after that and still farm down. I would not be that much afraid of uh, Lucario 
because you have Araquanid, which is gonna be uh, a pretty solid counter to uh, Lucario, making the match pretty even. And of course, you have at the back uh, Quagsire, which can still beat with the help of the match shots uh, that uh, Lucario with a pure Stone Edge. Uh, despite being resisted, Stone Edge from a Shadow Quagsire, yeah, it is gonna do a lot. And of course, the match shots are gonna hurt the classy Pokemon. Galarian Stanfisk, you already know how cool this Pokemon is. Definitely a safe switch for the cup. And I think that uh, with Lucario against it, not something like a Scrafty or Medicham, you're gonna be in a very good way. Uh, to get the seals and then finish off with your second ground type. The core breaker of the team is gonna be, of course, Tapu Fini because uh, it has a very good patch up against Araquanid. And against the backline, I think you are gonna uh, not appreciate uh, uh, facing a Tapu Fini at all because uh, it can simply. Uh, destroy down the enemy special with seal up. Uh, that's all for this team as well and now we have a very exciting one for the next one with Berserker up on the lead. And not only that, we're also gonna have at the back Gastrodon, which is an amazing mad boy, and of course this uh, Jellicent. So all these teams that you have already seen, most probably gonna have a mad boy in them, and that makes sense because you want to counter that red seal effectively whenever you're using any team on fossil cap. So the leader is gonna be Perseker, a pretty straightforward Pokemon. You have close combat foul play, and of course Shadow Claw for more pressure. Close combat, most probably you're gonna use it most of the times, and foul play just for neutral drama damage because not a lot of ghosts exist in the meta and speaking of ghosts we have a safe switch ghost type which is gonna be the Jellicent and this Pokemon another pretty straightforward one you do not need Ice Beam I believe just go with Shadow Ball and Bubble Beam while keeping Hex on your Pokemon uh, Gastrodon, uh, Mud Slap all the way, use Earth Power or Body Slap and the Core Breaker is gonna be Ludicolo, well this one in particular might be a little, a little bit problematic for the backline and with Bubble it can still help that uh, Perseker, but it is not the, the end of the world or stuff like this uh, because you still have some solid options to go against it and in total you are not gonna regret uh, using this line of three. Trainers, if you're wondering what is Ganeto gonna play, well, uh, most probably I'm not gonna play this uh, exact team, but I want to use my Shadow Mobile and my Shadow Gerados on the same team. Those two are absolutely amazing, I love their synergy, and also I think that with Dragon Tail, my Shadow Gerados is just gonna destroy the enemy. Having a Zoomarill on the team might uh, destroy the spies, but uh, if you're gonna use those two Pokemon, I think that Azumarill really helps them combine even more. Uh, with Azumarill, you get uh, general coverage against the meta, you are still gonna lose to Registeel, but with Hydro Pump, you can still threat it in using a shield or just put it so low that your Gerados can farm down and then you are gonna unleash your full power. Uh, with Shadow Mobile, uh, most probably you are gonna need a Fire Funk, and I recommend Shadow Mobile because it relies on its fast attack to do damage, it is already a glassy Pokemon and with Fire Fang I think you are gonna be on a very, on a very good uh, spot, especially against those steel types or Ferrothorn because you can simply farm them down and unleash all your power on whatever they have at the back. A water type might struggle your lead Pokemon but that's why you have the back line which can go uh, pretty well against other water types as well. The core breaker of the team is gonna be Lantern because it resists the Fire Fang can go pretty well with Spark against the back line and of course you're gonna see that it hits super hard so you have to shield no matter what uh, that's all trainers for this video thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end i hope you had a fantastic time watching the video by the way and i hope to see you all into the next one but before you go please leave a like subscribe to the channel because it really it really means so much and with that in mind say i will say farewell to you trainers and i hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone